and thanks for watching BSG Cast. I'm Nat, he's Matt, and let's get started. Okay, this week we were treated to a full scale mutiny called The Oath. Man, when we first saw that timestamp at the very beginning in Adama's room, we knew this was episode was going to be just a roller coaster. Yeah, Huge, and the whole thing. Stressful oh, roller coaster. It was like, what, four hours? Oh. Barely? And it, it, it finally, oh. it finally <laughs> took Earth. It took Earth being annihilated for this fleet to come apart. It's amazing right now, the stuff that's just coming apart, the scenes left, right, and Jeez. center. Oh. Ron wasn't kidding when he said things were going to get really dark before the dawn. Yeah, but first, let's give away some Alienware goodies. <laughs> another week of fantastic comments, lots of insight, and great theories. And, you know, we went through all of them, but we're going to have to go with Osmium for inventing the term desilonification. There's a mouthful, eh? Yeah, <laughs> holy crap. Now, you have won an Alienware t-shirt, and you're now in the running for a $2,000 gaming machine, so... Pretty exciting stuff. Very exciting. Very yeah, so exciting. your word wound up being so popular this week, it was used as the term to describe the retconning of Nikki's parentage, which is pretty cool. Which, incidentally, Ron has now admitted as retcon, mm -hmm. but because of the importance of Hera in the coming episodes. Hmm. Yeah, looking uh, into that. Well, yeah. let's get into the episode, shall we? This episode picks up right where the last one left off, and the only thing we miss out on is oh. some planning between <laughs> Zarek and Gaeta. Now, ugh, it's a hell of a plan. And it ticks me off. But anyway, besides that, Gaeta is actually the perfect man to head this mutiny because his position, coincidentally enough, which I never really realized, is like as the hub of communications. Like, Everything he played goes Adama through him. Big time. Oh, like a fiddle. It was incredible. Oh my God. And almost every decision that led to the scenario where Gaeta took over was all Adama's call. So Gaeta just, just managed to predict Jeez. and manipulate, and next thing you know, it's halfway through the episode. Jeez. And then wow. Zarek himself played his part perfectly as well, and taking out Laird was brutal, but so perfectly Zarek. I mean, considering the history he has, you know, the revolutionary, you know, leading coups and whatnot. And you know what? You gotta shed blood sometimes, when right? When you were talking to Richard Hatch mm. about where his character was going. He, he said it's kidding. dark. Yeah. And wow, is it ever. He's already killed a man. Holy crap. Now, Gaeta, I'm afraid, has the beginnings of a weak I, know, I think if there's a weakness, in, if there is a weakness in this mutiny, it's going to be Gaeta. I it's Gaeta hoping that he can do this without bloodshed. And you know what? That ideology that they don't share, like, that's like, going to yeah, be the problem. Exactly. Like that's Vera how the whole thing's going to come work. apart. You have to shed blood. So, like, first example is Gaeta not killing a dam on the spot when he took command, yes. which they're called him on. So. Now, that brings us to the halfway point in the episode when the dirty work began. <sighs> The execution of the plan was where Gaeta slipped up. At the halfway point in the episode, Adam seems to get wise and that gets him arrested. Now, from there, it was very evocative of the beginning of season two, if you remember, when the Cylons oh. board Galactic with a heavy raider and everything goes down, Another after super damage control, all that. Another super stressful episode. Oh, was it this ever. time, the scariest part, though, was not really knowing who the good guy or bad guy was. Who was part of Adama's team, I guess, and who was part of Gaeta's yeah, revolutionary Yeah, exactly. Mutineers. The loyalists look just like the mutineers, yeah, and the exactly. civilians are just everywhere. Who knows who the civilians are with? It was just such a mess. Why did oh. anyone decide to put that many civilians on the ship in the first you place? You know what? What is this? The oh, Enterprise? I, I Come know. on. I get that <laughs> there's a bunch of people who need somewhere to live, and sure, the the ship that was being decommissioned oh, has lots of room. seriously, they have but, been oh. nothing but trouble since New Castle. They have been, my god. This was an episode where a lot of people who have been in a self-loathing funk mm -hmm. since finding Earth came back to form. My favorite one being Starbuck. Oh my God, was it good to see her with being two guns the, in her the hand. badass that she is, you know, rocking some firearms, shooting skulls with no hesitation or <laughs> remorse, great. kissingly feeling alive. Oh. It was so good glad to see, to see her like that. Yeah, and it's interesting to see that because I'm looking forward to now that she's back. Where what is happens, she gonna go? Exactly. Yeah, she's done just hating herself. And then Rosalind is the next one. You know, she sprung into action, got into like her old uniform, her hair, and addressed the fleet beautifully, thanks to Baltar, strangely enough. Yeah, Baltar, it's great. Doing another fantastic job <laughs> of saving his own ass. Oh, God. Basically, by just giving that perfect excuse, well, I'm the one they want, so it's safer if I leave. Keep the statue. <laughs> oh, keep the statue. Oh, brilliant. It was just so much fun, especially to see Rosalind and Baltar interacting. I love that point that when they were talking about how bad their presidential aides selection and was. And it was nice wow. to see Baltar actually try to use his personal relationship to actually 
you know, influence or yeah. I mean, something with Gaeta. Three seasons ago, yeah. three seasons ago, Gaeta was worshipping the ground that man walked on. Yeah, so there was some hero It was worship. worth a shot. It was worth a shot. And it was awesome seeing Adama lurking in the hallways and wielding automatic yeah. weapons and oh, just popping a cap into that Marine's mutineering ass. That oh. was great. Now, you know what? Watching him and Ty rock those two noobs, oh, it was great to see some good butt kick. And their teamwork is fantastic. You can, you yeah. can tell that they are just so good together. They're such good buddies. They yeah. know each other what's going on and oh my god, that last stand that they made together, oh, that was heart-wrenching. It was brutal. Added I believe to it. all the stress throughout the whole episode. Yeah, but for me, the weird thing was, anyone notice how awkward it was for Ty to try to shoot with his right eye missing? Next week, we have Blood on the Scales. Oh. And if you haven't seen the preview, stop watching this BSG cast right now. Okay, so Adama survived that flash bomb, and it looks like he's on his way out the airlock instead. And oh. if we believe what we hear, Ty went down fighting, but I feel I don't like know. that's a mislead. That's got to be a mislead. I how hope many it times? Is. How many times have we had things like, "Oh, you don't know that Joel the final Cylon"? Like, you know, things like that have been thrown into previews. So I'm, I'm still going with Ty's not dead. Hopefully he's please, not, because that would be horrible. And it really feels like Rosalind is channeling some Kate Blanchett with her heartbroken battle oh cry. Oh my god, over it's the a wireless. total like Valkyrie battle cry. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm, I'm coming on now! Oh, I'm so good. I'm so excited Gata to see that. Gata has a world of hurt Poor coming guy. his way. Poor I, guy. I would just love to see the Cylon base star just nuke Galactica and the rest of the season play out on, on the base star. That would be so unexpected. That is so extreme. No, oh, you never know. Oh. You never know. Anyway, guys, <laughs> comment away on this episode on bsgcast.com because we have a And computer. let me know if it makes you as angry as it makes me. It makes me so angry. Speaking of angry, I'm still not sold on Ellen. Hello? Ellen, Final Cylon. Anyone remember the Final Cylon? Ron, come not on. Not important right now, it seems. Ron. Ron. Cylon. <laughs> Anyway, just make sure you guys comment on bsgcast.com. We're giving the computer away in seven episodes. So it's big stuff, man. It's big stuff. We've been, we've been looking forward to this as long as we've been looking forward to the finale of Battlestar Galactica. Oh, so come on. We want the comments. Ah. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Bye.